The month of March will be a crucial one uh, for our future. On the 24th and 25th of March, the European Council will make decisions which will be decisive for the direction, the economic direction of Europe in the future. We are faced with a very stark choice. On the one hand, we have the conservative right-wing choice, austerity and cuts. On the other hand, we have the choice of ours, jobs and growth. Don't have any illusions. The French-German proposal for an austerity pact will have devastating consequences for uh, our future. It may look different in style, but not in substance, to the second Conservative proposal coming from Commission President Barroso, who is proposing now guidelines for member states, which will have devastating consequences for our social standards all over Europe. It's a very hard choice we are up to now. And we have to be clear in understanding that Angela Merkel and Sarkozy, they are not respecting in any way the European decision process. They are making pronouncements, press conferences, outside any respect of how we decide in common and in tra a transparent and respectful way in Europe. So their proposal would mean um, lower social standards, would mean higher retirement age, would mean weakening employment protection, and at the end would mean that our long-term uh, historical and actual welfare states in Europe will be undermined. And yet they refuse to take the single uh, most efficient uh, challenge we have, uh, how do we ensure to make the financial markets work for us? They just forget it. Instead, they're focusing on trying to let ordinary people who did not cause this crisis make the sacrifices. And they're even trying to balance the books now in all our member states without taking on board the one single fundamental source of a new revenue. That is a fair tax of the financial sector. This is not our way. We have another and much more sustainable and fair way. But of course, we cannot just criticize, even if it's very important to point out the consequences of the conservative line. We need to have our own alternative, and we certainly have. That is why I'm proud to announce that uh, the leaders uh, of all our member parties within the European Union will meet in Athens on the 4th and 5th of March, uh, where I will co-host together with my good friend George Papandreou uh, this very important summit for progressive social democratic leaders. Here we will gather and we will unify about the new, around the new direction for Europe. Our direction will of course be based on jobs, on growth, on fairness, on social security. We will focus exactly on those questions which you uh, think and feel are the most important ones, your concerns. How can I ensure uh, free access and, and a sufficient and strong health care? How can I be sure if I lose my job that I will get the necessary up qualifications and retraining and benefit, social benefit and unemployment benefit? How can I be sure that my retirement security will still be there in the future and even in a better shape than now? And how can I be sure that my children will have the good education they need to manage in the future? These are the questions we will focus upon and these are the questions we will answer when we meet in Athens on the 4th and 5th of March. This is, as you see, the clear difference between them, the Conservatives, and us, Progressives, Social Democrats. So they say, I'll plan, you will sacrifice. We say, 
we will plan together and we will grow together for new jobs and for a better future. So the difference between the conservatives and us, that's very, very clear. We want all in our societies in Europe to contribute, but also to benefit. They want you to sacrifice and others to benefit. That's why we need a change of Europe. But this change will only come when we have changed the majority of governments in Europe. We can do that, but only with your help. If you're watching this as a PS activist, I'm sure you know what to do. Go out there, bring the message with you, talk to your friends, and get 10 new members, 10 new PS activists this week. If you're watching this as a trade unionist, use your network, tell your friends, make it clear that this message is a clear distinction between the conservative line and the social, demo the social democratic line. If you're watching this as a public civil ser servant, shout it out over the roofs to all your colleagues that there is another way than just austerities and cuts, that we can finance a good functioning public sector and service through new taxes on those who made this crisis, the financial sectors and other fair revenues. And if you are a member of a political party, you also know what to do. Make the clear message to your members, to your branches, locally and centrally. Join us in this common effort to get a new majority of Europe, because that means a new majority in your own country. So 2011, that is the year to fight back against austerity. That is the year to now show that there is another way. That is the year for change. So let's join and make that change reality. <laughs>